Some of the fun brushes that I use during the painting process here, I have a couple of them out here, uh, you know, for you to take a look at. And I've used these for several years into painting. I use the, the Global Arts, the Fusion brushes that I have here. And uh, this is a number eight round. I used to use this all the time on the, bir on the birds and stuff until Georgia talked me into trying the four one time. And I fell in love with the four. It's like, a, it's like the liner brush. This is the Raphael liner brush I use all the time. It's the 16684 number three quill. It's natural hair quill. Uh, these brushes here, uh, they they emulate squirrel hair. They're very very soft, and so you can you can sit there and, and hold them with the with paint and fan them out and get all kinds of different feathering types of techniques with them. Uh, but the brush being so soft that uh, it will just drag that color, and it won't it won't push to blend that color quite as fast as a synthetic does. So, you know, and these, like I say, these emulate the older squirrel hair brushes. This is a natural hair brush, but these emulate the old squirrel hair brushes. And so um, uh, they give you just a wonderful soft brush technique. I don't paint birds with any of the newer synthetic uh, brushes. They're just too stiff. These are my favorite brushes to paint with, the fusions. We call them the watercolor too, because we also use them in watercolor. So the quill gets done with some real fine detail work. I then go into this one, which is like a moderate detail work. Many times I'll finish a bird uh, completely with this brush, depending on how much detail that bird is going to have. What's my plan? How much do I want to detail that bird with? If I'm painting a two bird combination like the, the goldfinch, uh, is that the goldfinches that I have in the book, uh, maybe she gets rendered with the quill and he gets rendered with the four. So she has a little bit more detail to her that brings her in front of him. That's part of my plan, part of my thought process. Then I go to the eight and then I use my flats here for larger areas of the paintings to, uh, you know, render large fe uh, areas of feathers, okay? Um, then any of these will work in the uh, negative uh, feathering techniques, which I'll show you as we get into painting, okay? So these are the basic painting brushes, along with the big three-quarter inch brush that we use to uh, generate the uh, the backgrounds and the, uh, the vignettes of the painting here, which we'll talk about here in just a minute. Let's go take a look at the painting. 